Hello everyone and welcome to the Angie W. Cox's Summer Reading Program Story Time. To go with this year's theme of All Together Now, we will be reading stories about family and friends and all of the complicated emotions these special people make you feel. This is our first story with Better Together by Amy Robach and Andrew Shu, and illustrated by Lenny Wen. I hope you enjoy! One stormy night, the wind howled through the woods, the trees shook, the branches clacked, and Mrs. Squirrely and her two little squirrels were blown right out of their nest. This way, Mrs. Squirrely called. I know a hollow tree nearby. Beck and Fern followed their mama through the forest to an oak tree with a hollow trunk. It was warm and dry inside. Meanwhile, not far away, the wind was howling, trees shaking, branches clacking, the rain coming down and down and down and swish! Mr. McMonk and his two little chipmunks were blown right out of their burrow. Follow me, Mr. McMonk called to Peanut and Sam. They followed their papa to the hollow in a tree trunk of a great oak. It was warm and dry inside. And full of squirrels! Mrs. Squirrely greeted Mr. McMonk. Good thing we all found this nice spot to stay. Mr. McMonk smiled. It's our lucky day. Beck and Fern and Sam and Peanut were shy at first, but not for long. A full hollow meant there was always someone to play with. Beck loved to stack the sticks, and it turned out Peanut did too. Sam was a huge fan of Rotten Knot Hunter, and so was Fern. Plus, some games were just paws down better. Jumping rope with two was tough, but with four, no problem. Fern and Beck and Sam and Peanut played tree trivia and nutball and tag. They raced around and around the hollow until they were dizzy. Then they fell into a great big furry heap and snoozed. The storm raged all night and into the next day. The wind kept blowing, the rain kept falling. After a while, everyone got a little testy. Quit poking me with your paw, Sam told Fern. You're hogging all the pine needles, Beck complained to Peanut. After a long night, Mr. McMonk made breakfast. How about some mushrooms, he asked. Beck wrinkled her nose. In our nest, we always eat berries for breakfast. Beck, don't be rude, Mrs. Squirrely said, as she set out acorn cups full of rainwater. Rainwater? Peanut crossed his paws. In our burrow, we drink dewdrops. Mr. McMonk sent him to the corner. The grumping got worse. Almost everyone wanted things to go back to the way they were before the storm. Our nest was the best, Fern said. Our burrow was awesome, said Peanut. Why do we all have to share, Beck wailed. All they ever do is chatter, Sam said. Chatter, chatter, chatter. We do not, Beck shouted. Do too, Peanut yelled back. Mrs. Squirrely threw up her paws. Enough! From now on, squirrels will stay in this part of the hollow. And chipmunks will stay over there, said Mr. McMonk. Peanut and Sam and Mr. McMonk went to one side. Fern and Beck and Mrs. Squirrely went to the other. Just as they settled in, Beck looked outside and... The storm is over, she cried. We can go home, Peanut added. So Mrs. Squirrely took Fern and Beck back to their nest at the top of the tree. Mr. McMonk took Peanut and Sam back to their burrow. But what they had thought was the best and awesome wasn't quite how they had remembered it. The nest had a great view, but it was a little drafty. The burrow was super cozy, but a little damp. Most of all, both felt too quiet and empty. Fern rubbed her eyes with the back of her paw. Can we go see Peanut and Sam, she asked. What a good idea, said Mrs. Squirrely. Meanwhile, Peanut found berries tucked away in a corner of the hollow. Beck and Fern would really like these, he said. They always eat berries for breakfast. Let's take some to them, Sam said. So Peanut and Sam and Mr. McMonk raced out of the burrow and climbed up the oak tree just as Fern and Beck and Mama Squirrel were climbing down. They met in the middle, by the hollow. Sam, Beck, Fern, Peanut! The squirrels and chipmunks raced circles around the tree when they saw each other. Mama, can we stay here from now on? Fern begged. 
Us too? Sam and Peanut asked their papa. We'll see, said Mr. McMunk. He smiled at Mrs. Squirrely. I think I'll try mushrooms for breakfast tomorrow, Beck said. No, let's have berries, said Peanut. With rainwater. Deal, said Sam and Fern. They all shook paws. And that's how the Squirrel and Chipmunk families became the McSquirrelies. Together. For good. Thank you for joining us for this wonderful story. Don't forget to stop into the Partyville Library for all of the activities that go along with the rest of the summer reading program.